does the Bible say? And boy, that's why you got to have the right Bible. Amen. Better have you a King James Bible. If you don't have a King James, you don't have the Bible. Amen. You know that. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. You can't get any better than the King James Bible. I understand it. I'm not the greatest Christian. I'm a pretty sorry Christian. But I know, bless God, who died for me. Amen. And I refuse, if that's shallow, I refuse to grow past that point. I want to never forget, bless God, I was a good for nothing, filthy, dirty, rotten, hell bound, hell deserving sinner, and Christ Jesus died in my place. And everything I do from that point forward is supposed to bring honor and glory to Him. And so that's what I'm to consider. That's what I'm to consider. This is over there. Oh man, Judas, he, I mean, he's, he, it's got to be him. And Jesus in the corner going, oh my goodness. <laughs> you, guys, you guys, boy, howdy. We know Judas is saved. Boy, we know he's saved. He, he handles the bag. Peter, bless God, bleep, bleep, bleep. I don't even ever heard of the guy. And they're like, I always knew Peter wasn't saved. I always knew that. Next thing you know, he's in the back of a pickup truck on Pentecost. Yeah, boy, preaching about getting saved. And what's this all about? You can't tell who's saved and who's not. Paul said to Timothy, look, God can save anybody. Go talk to that drunk over there. Go talk to that harlot over there. Go talk to that dope addict over there. Go talk to that thief over there. Everybody, and that, that don't avoid the rich or those that have a job. But, but let me tell you something. You can even go to heaven without a job. Are y'all okay? Y'all are quiet in here. He said, if, you, if God could forgive me, he could forgive anybody. There's a, there's a pattern there, Timothy. I want you to see this. Everybody that's breathing is a candidate to get saved. Everybody is. America doesn't need another rock and roll church. America doesn't need another purple light church. America don't need another Rick Warren type church. She must have old fashioned Baptist preachers and people of God that love the truth. She's got to have that. Okay, you can't, personal soul winning don't need to be fixed. Thank you. Does that mean you shouldn't leave a track in a restaurant? That's not soul winning. But does that mean you shouldn't leave a track in a restaurant? Sure, leave a track in a restaurant. But that don't mean soul winning's broken. Okay, we don't need to, 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 to go tr walk around with a big uh, grin on our face, trying to smile, trying to pay, make everybody convinced that we're happy. That don't, I'm, I'm for that, but that don't take the place of personal soul. And find the church anymore that has music standards, that has dress standards. I mean, my soul, it's so rare anymore. If I read one more website that says, we don't have a dress code for members or staff or anybody else that comes in our place. You are the biggest... <sighs> You remember, remember when Donald Trump, this was funny to me. I thought this was hilarious. When, remember when he got in that, that fight with Ted Cruz? Ted Cruz said something. He, he just went, you are the single biggest liar. Y'all remember that? Somebody ought to say that about some of these pastors. No dress code. Well, let them walk in there with nothing on. And all of a sudden, you whoa, hold up. You can't come in here. You said no dress code. This is a biblical uniform I got as much on as Adam had on. It's ridiculous. If you love me, keep my commandments. Is that right? If you believe that, say amen. amen. What's the last commandment God gave for you ever left this planet? Go to the world, preach the gospel, every creature, right? Okay. So if I love him, if I'm trying to love him, then I have to try to do what he says. I have to try. Man, if some of these preachers just knock a few doors a week, they should have got to me by now. I have never been handed a track in Walmart, Home Depot, Mexican restaurant, Taste of Asia. I swear sometimes I want to get out in the middle of uh, the street and say, does anybody care? What if I was going to hell? Doesn't anybody care?